Okay, uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to get Cura set up and configured for working with the Hackberry Lab 3D printers. Uh, one of the very first things that you're going to do is go ahead and go install Cura. Um, and for this, um, the link is going to be down in the description. Uh, and we're going to be using uh, version 4.6.1. Uh, and so if you come here and scroll down, you should be able to find uh, the right file for your operating system. If you're on Windows, you're going to want to look at this win64.exe version. This is going to be the one for you. Um, and if you're on a Mac, this DMG version is going to be the one that you want. And so we're going to go ahead and click on that and install. Um, and what Cura does is it's going to allow you to take the STL files from your kind of your 3D design software and actually turn it into a format that the 3D printers will understand. Okay, so at this point we can see that it's finished downloading, and so I'm going to click on it to install. And this may take just a, uh, a hot second, but that's okay. Okay, so at this point it's open, and I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag it into my applications folder. Um, that's gonna transfer all of its files. Now you can see that it says, you know, there's already one that exists here, and that's okay. We can click replace. Um, I already have it installed, which is why it says that. Um, but you'll want to drag yours into the application folder, especially if you're installing it for the first time. And that should just take a few seconds. And once it is done installing, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And here you can see it's in my applications folder. Uh, and we're going to need to do uh, some some configuration, like I said, in order to work with the specific 3D printers um, that we are using uh, in Hackberry Lab. Okay, if it asks you this question, you can just say go ahead and open it. And we can see it loading up right now. Okay, and once it's open, again, you may kind of hit close or something like this, um, it says that there is a, an update available, and we've been avoiding this one because we've had some small issues with it, so you can go ahead and kind of click away from that. Um, and what you may do here um, is we kind of want to get this set up to be able to uh, work with the specific type of filament that we use, the very specific type of printer that we do. Uh, and so here, I'm going to say add printer, uh, and we're going to add a non-networked printer. Um, now at this point, we're going to kind of close down this little drop-down window, if it'll let us. Um, or we can scroll down. Uh, and the one that we're specifically looking for is Creality 3D. And you want to open that up, and we want to go to the Creality Ender 3. And this is the very specific type of printer that we have in the lab. And we can click Add. And in here, uh, let's just go ahead and that should autofill with all of our uh, settings in um, just as normal. Okay, and at that point we've added in our uh, 3D printer. Uh, now what we want to do next is we need to go ahead and get uh, the uh, filament profiles um, from the Hackberry Lab website. And so we're going to go back over to the internet and again these uh, Files are available in the with links in the description, um, and so if we click that link, that's going to open up these profiles. And what we'll do here is we'll hit this download button to download those files, and we're also going to download the fine print profiles. So again, link is in the description, and we're going to download those files as well. So we should have two files in here. Uh, and what we can do now is we can go back to our Cura software and we need to add these uh, print profiles to our, uh, our software here. Uh, and in order to do that, what we can do is we can either hit Command J if you're on a Mac or Control J if you're on a PC. Um, and so if we load that up here, um, what you can see is there's an opportunity to import um, some preferences. So I'm going to import here. I'm going to go to my downloads and I can see that kind of first draft file there. So I'll click OK there and it'll say successfully imported and you should see it here. 
Um, if you don't see that, then you may need to come into the lab and we can kind of get you sorted out, but it should pop up here, Hackberry Draft 1. Okay, we'll go and we'll do this other option and it says imported file and that should say, you know, uh, Hackberry Fine. Uh, now, if yours doesn't have the one here, that's okay. If it just says Hackberry Draft or Hackberry Fine, that's okay. Uh, I think these numbers are showing up because I've already installed these before. Um, but at that point, then you should be able to close this down. Uh, and then at this point, what we need to do uh, is we need to change uh, our default print profile. And so here you can say, see that where it says standard quality. Uh, we just want to go ahead and change that to Hackberry Draft. Uh, we'll talk about these in class, but the difference between draft and fine is the draft goes a little bit quicker, um, whereas the fine is kind of a, a finer quality. And so most of the time when we're just kind of doing just some, some test prints um, or we're just prototyping, we use that draft. Next thing that we need to do uh, is we need to click over here on this generic PLA setup. Um, and we want to change this to a 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Um, and PLA is the type of practice that we're, or, or type of plastic that we're using. Um, and so with these, you can see that we're in the Hackberry draft uh, profile. We're using generic PLA with 0.6 millimeters. Uh, and in that case, we should be ready to go. And that's it. Oh, one final uh, quick note. If uh, you ever need to refer back to these instructions, if you go to the Hackberry Lab website and click on student resources, uh, if you scroll down, you'll see something called 3D printing, where you will find all of these instructions that we talked about today. And that's it.